Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Rock and Round Table. My name is Shay. My name is Matthias. Today's reaction is another Swedish band again. Oh. Yeah, Constancia. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> <laughs> this song is called Feel My Heart Beat. It is a single from their fourth album. The single Feel My Heart Beat is from their upcoming album Forevermore. Mm. That is coming out August 30th. And it's their fourth album. So play on words there. Oh, yeah. That's very, very cool. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So I'm pretty excited about this one. It's going to be a lyric video, though. Um, mm -hmm. So not a full blown music video that we usually do, but I'm very interested in this song. And uh, I think a lyric video will be good enough for that purpose. I'll have to read. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to read for this instead of just bring out very your readers, people. I like to watch. You know, so, uh. <laughs> yeah, we do like to watch the, the video, you know, if there's a story to it. And uh, yeah, you know, music videos is always fun to watch. But uh, remember to stick around till the end of the video where we will give our reaction, our review, and also our rating. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's roll.
Wow, that guitar riff. I knew you would like that. That uh, one, that was great. Yeah, it's yeah. so contagious. And, yeah. you know, Jan Estadik, who is the guitar player for this band, he he's a really famous guy in Sweden, he, at least in, a, in within the music industry, rock industry, because he has, you know, he's played in multiple bands. He is playing in multiple bands. He's an incredibly talented guitar player. And busy guy. <laughs> yeah, he's a busy yeah. guy. He also has written, I think, at least two books, like oh. Metal and Encyclopedia, oh. um, one and two. It's about Swedish bands, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, he he is incredibly well respected by by everyone, uh, musicians. He was actually here in Las Vegas uh, a year or two ago. Have you ever met him? I didn't get get a chance to meet him actually, but <laughs> he I just missed him because our mutual friend John said, "Well, I actually had a Swedish friend here just like half an hour ago here, because I think he was here in Las Vegas to meet with uh, Mike Varney, who is the, um, the the founder, and I guess he is still the CEO of the label Shrapnel Records." Oh, okay, okay, uh, okay. Who huh. who kind of found like Ingve and Joe Satriani and Tony McAlpine, all these shredders back in the eighties, uh, he signed them to his label. So yeah. Well, it's a damn shame you didn't get a chance to meet him that that evening. Yeah, and I, I hope to I well, I hope you come back to town here soon so we can get to hang out and, you know, have dinner or something. But anyway, <laughs> that, that exactly. would be fun. Yes. That would be fun. Or I know you you are at Sweden Rock Festivals quite a bit, so we're gonna come. Well, we we plan to come back 2025. That's, that that's our goal. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Yeah, keep our fingers crossed for that. <laughs> so, but but again, this song, I'm a big fan of melodic hard rock. That this song is really great vocals and like I said, contagious riff. And the riff really reminds me. Uh, it gives me like talisman vibes. Yeah. Um, yes. Yes, that's true. Yeah. And it, and and both those bands also give me. I don't know if it's kind of like a retro, retro or nostalgic vibes of like the late eighties. Late eighties, nineties. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but very cool. Very cool. So uh, they've had they have three studio albums, but this is from their upcoming album, the fourth album. Yeah. So for ever more, ever more, for ever more. Okay. Yeah. Coming out August 30th, 2024. Yeah. So, um, they formed in 2007. Correct. Um, by Pete Godfrey, the vocals. No, I don't think he was the founder. He, okay. he came in later. Um, was another guy who founded the band, uh, the information we're going to, we're going to put the video, um, uh, in the description box. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of information uh, about the band and their history on on this video okay. in, in the in the uh, description box in their description box. Okay. okay. So check that out because a lot of information about different members have come and gone, and about the albums when they were released. I think 2009, 2015, and mm. 2021, and now 2024 for their fourth album. And I think the singer Pete Godfrey he came in. I think it was this album actually. Let let's just quickly check the website if they have that information here. Let's check this out. Yeah. So, <clears throat> welcome to the home of Con Constancia. Constancia, and uh, there's a lot of information here as well. But uh, there was another founder. Uh, the band was. <laughs> I, I'm. I don't have that information here. But let's. Um, so if we look at the about, uh, about here. I like their logo. Yeah, I, I like this website actually. Yeah, obviously we're not going to read all this, but we're going to put the link in this um, in the description box about for, for the band as well. And here we have the uh, the albums they have released. So for Evermore is coming here on August thirtieth. Yeah, like that, co uh, the colors of that of the new album, the purples and the pinks. Yeah. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> yeah, and, and like I said, the logo is really cool. I like it. Yeah, and it reminds have, me of Avantasia. I mean, it, the whole. Yeah. I mean, the length of the. I'll oh, shut up. Brave New World, 2021. <laughs> yeah. Final Curtain, 2015, and it was a special edition as well. Apparently mm. here, and Lost and Gone was the first one in Lost 2009. 
lost and gone. Yeah, I like that. I like those. Is that a compass or a clock? Compass, Com- right? Compass or something. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. And uh, and they have a shop here as well. So if you go to Jan Estatic uh, at bigcartel.com, no, Jan Estatic dot bigcartel.com, and then you, you have some merchandise there. Any so. uh, shows or tours? Not that I know of, but hopefully they will have some tours coming up here. Yeah. That will be really cool. Huh. Who knows, right? But uh, as we know now, I mean, bands, musicians are busy with so many different bands. So it's hard to schedule like a full-blown tour if you're going to do like four weeks or six weeks. It's hard. Yeah, and I think that's cool. I I like when they do four or five weeks here and then like take a month or two off or or do four or five months in a different continent (laughs) and go on, you know, um, and then go, I mean, it's kind of like, especially if they have other other work, other jobs, or other responsibilities that mm-hmm. they have to, you know, kind of prioritize and kind of pace themselves. Yeah. You know, even financially as well. Yeah. I mean, I think most bands, most European bands would probably love to come to the US and tour, but yeah, it's just, it's expensive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, work visas are expensive. It takes time to get them. Yeah. yeah. And uh, then if you want to have a tour bus, it's just, almost not feasible financially to right un- unless you're a big band obviously but it- it's sad uh, but it's just the way it is and, and that's why it's even more important that you support the artists buy their cds and, and vinyls and buy the merch and go to the shows and buy tickets it- it's just incredibly important for for us to be able to see these shows in the future as well and see well hear new music from from the from the artists because we all know like Spotify and the streaming services, they don't pay anything. They really don't. So, you know, and, and just making me think about the older generation, like the Gen X's and the boomers, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, they, they remember a time when the, there wasn't any downloads, any, any kind of music yeah. like that. You know, we knew a, a new album was going to be released on Friday, whatever, February, whatever. And, uh, you know, 1980, whatever. And, you know, we, you know, we went to the mall, you know, when they still had malls Mm -hmm. or went to the music store, you know, that was, you know, in your neighborhood or, you know, in downtown area of the city, you know, that, that you live in. And it was just exciting. And sometimes, and a lot of times there was lines out the door before the, before the, the, um, the record store opened, you know, so. For the new release. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and they, and they, um. You know, the stores would open like at 9 a.m. So there'd be people waiting at, at 8, you know, like whatever. Like it was, just, and I was one of those people. But um, it was <laughs> so much fun. It was, ah, uh, and you get that, the album, the vinyl. And even when they're just CDs were just as exciting. But the vinyl was like so, that like, was oh my God, it was so amazing. Mm-hmm. It was so, you had something substantial to hold. Yeah, it was you always know. fun to to read, the, you know, the lyric sheet and everything about oh, like, it. Yeah. Because you know. I remember I, I used to know, details about the label knew the, the who produced the album who mixed it all those details i i knew by heart mm-hmm. and it was just a different time and i loved it and uh, and i remember i was reading somewhere in like in a rock magazine i think it was kerrang that black sabbath had recorded a live album uh, oh. live evil and uh, but it was not yet released so I kept going to the record store, like I think several days every week and just asking for the album. And then like, no, it's not here yet. It's coming. Uh, we don't know exactly when, but yeah, feel free to <laughs> come back. <laughs> and it must, they must have been so tired of me coming in like. No. Yeah. Uh, after a couple of months, when I, you know, stepped my foot, opened the door, they're like, no. Oh. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Do you know when? No, I don't know anything yet. I, I will let you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was just so... And if you were really uh, close, if it was a smaller, like, independent record store, and they really, they knew you, yeah. and you were close with, with some of the people that worked there, I mean, you'd be lucky enough to get, like, the promo posters, you yeah. know, or they would have, a, a like, a cutout. If it was an artist, like Pepin Atar or somebody, or even, like, 
and or kiss or even they would have like cardboard cutouts like life size yeah. for promotions now they sell that stuff you know but for, <laughs> but you would be you were lucky to to take one home you know or it'd be like the same and then they would have the little cutout like a, maybe a 15 inch Mm-hmm. height one that you would put on a table or a desk or something so cool i mean yeah. oh my god it's so exciting. those were the days and I I, and stuff. speaking of that i remember this specific live evil black sat black sabbath i went to the same store every single time it was a place in my home my old hometown Vesteros, sweden and uh, i think the i think the store was named river records mm. it was re- very close to the river uh, we have going through Vesteros. And uh, I missed that store. It was just a small, small store, right? No, but uh, me, it was Stedford's, Stedford St- Records. Okay. <laughs> and in Pittsburgh. Oh my God! And it was just, and it, 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 it was. That's a great feeling too. Yeah. And I remember, you know, getting the vinyl in those plastic bags that was specific for for vinyls, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, taking the bus home, coming home, and putting it on the record player, and just just rock out it was mm-hmm. yeah well great memories great mm-hmm. memories i think i just heard had turned 45 <laughs> <laughs> when live evil came five. out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's funny yeah and another one I, I used to go to was also was ides record and books and didn't i and didn't i take you it was near the strip district didn't i take didn't we walk go i there? think we did yeah yeah and that's but that was like the competitor but that was downtown but um and they're still open. I don't know about Stedford's, but Eyes is still open. And they, it was, it was one whole, it was two levels. One floor was all like collectibles and comics. And then the main level was all vinyl and music. And yeah, you could still get vinyl and then CDs, you name it, eight tracks. It was so cool with those <laughs> small, yeah. And, and the more I think about it, like I said, I mentioned River Records in Westeros, Sweden. Yeah. And I think it was the same owner, actually, Jay. Yeah. He has Jay Records, and it was another store he had as well. I think he had three stores at one time. And this guy, he knew everything about music. You can ask him about jazz records or classical music and rock and metal. He he just knew everything. It was just a really, really cool dude. I don't know if he... Uh, I, I haven't been home to see if those any of these stores are open anymore and it was another one called Khivbushen mm. and I think that actually still exists same thing there it was a, a rocker guy who who started it I think his name was Kenneth also super super smart obviously and a really friendly guy and he had cool people working for him like musicians working for him as well oh, I love in, that. in the store yeah so I I, I missed I missed that time when vinyl, well, vinyl is actually vinyl is actually coming back now. Yeah, so. it's just that it's the um, the whole dedication of going to pick it up. Well, yes, we could pre-order it and have it delivered, and they didn't do that back then. But yeah, um, it's just that whole excitement. Like I would, not that I want to go back in time. You know, I mean, mainly for the my youth. Yeah. But <laughs> but but for that to experience that again, just for yeah. the day, like you know, it would be. But, like, and so we will actually go on Friday. We will go to a local record store here in Las Vegas called very, Zia. Zia Records, Records yeah. yeah. On Rainbow. Yeah. And we're going to go there mm. to buy the new album from Sebastian Bach because he's going to be there signing mm-hmm. um, from 5 p.m. at Zia Records, uh, Las Vegas, July 19th. We're hoping to go. <laughs> and the, day, fall, the following day on Saturday, July 20th, he's playing a free show at Fremont Street. Downtown Fremont, Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. Downtown rocks. 200 degree weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be... Oh my God. It's going to be a hot. I'm going to bring my fan thing like this. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so, so we're going to see, the, see yes. that show again. And we love Sebastian Bach. We love his new album. And it, it's going to be a blast. So yeah, um, anyway... Back yeah, we kind of just, but, lost the track on Costancia. Yeah, with, with the, we're talking about merch and how the the yeah. pleasure of buying merch. Yeah, and all t-shirts, vinyl, you name it. You still buy it today, so we'll leave all the links. Yeah, and yeah, to wrap this up, Costancia, uh, mm-hmm. Janestark, mm-hmm. what a great guitar player he is. Pete Godfrey, 
Great yeah, Pete, yeah, the whole band is absolutely yeah. amazing. Mm-hmm. And uh, as a matter of fact, Jan, he mixed and mastered this album uh, Forevermore that comes out August 30th as well. So yeah, check the links that we put in the description box. Make sure to support this band. And I hope you like this song as much as we did. We're going to do a rating? Yes. <laughs> yes, okay. we're going to do a rating here. And um, I, I would like to start because, like I said, there are so many things I felt with this song. The, the great vocals, the melodic chorus, and the guitar riff, which gave me talisman vibes. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to give this one nine Marshall Stacks out of ten. Holy moly. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's super good. Yeah. So... um there were a lot of really cool things. I wish it was a video. You know, we don't do lyric videos that often, but at least I got to read the lyrics and now I know the song. But um, Oh, yeah. Very, was, you know. Sorry to interrupt you, but yeah. too bad. <laughs> we should have planned this better because we had the our, our cameras on top of some of the lyrics. So Yeah, it, you, it happens. You can check the, the yeah. original video, yes. of course. <laughs> I'm interested in, in hearing the new album when it finally comes out. Oh, yeah. So that for sure. But I think um, I'm going to give it seven... Out of 10 Marshall Stacks. Good rating. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Cool stuff. And uh, if you do like this video, if you like our video, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get alerted when we have new videos coming out. Comment below. Let us know what you think about this song. Let us know if you also think this has talisman vibes like I do. Okay, so until next time, we will catch you on the flip side.